and the we she talks about, it isn't us, it isn't the general public, it's our leaders in government, the leaders who claim every step in the right direction is a huge unprecedented leap. The leaders who have sidelined the voices of the young so far at COP. The leaders who've sidelined the voices of the global south, of the island nations most at risk, of those with the most at stake. Today, days into COP, they are still stuck in the world of what's politically possible because the listening in that world is controlled still by old money, literally fossil money. money will never listen to the rest of us. But our leaders might, if our voices are so loud that they cannot ignore us, and our actions so fierce that we challenge their power and make them realise that we will replace them if they don't live up to what we need. Now I've learned from Caroline and those who came before me and the next generation of leaders is growing fast too. You're all absolutely amazing. We are in a majority now. We here today. Younger people added to the middle-aged people like me, our generations who've grown up knowing that action was urgent, but have heard denial followed by delay. We are now joined together with the people who spoke up nearly 50 years ago, who founded Greenpeace, Friends of the Earth, Green Parties across the globe. They built and nurtured a global green movement we are all now part of and which can't be ignored. Ask, Ask the people as a whole what action we want now and we cry out with huge majorities. Let us divest and build tax justice and reparations. Let us tax the frequent flyers. Make public transport cheap and fantastic. Insulate our homes, clean our air and our streets, clean our energy. Get us those clean jobs, build our better future. We are here in our thousands, in our millions. We are most people now and we will be heard. So for being here today, for standing up for action, for the future, I applaud you all. Thank you. Yeah.